Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sean. I'm back again. I got a really cool, interesting build today. It's a build that everybody has been eagerly waiting for. Let me give you a hint. His name starts with a T and rhymes with or. And if you guess Hulk, you're right. Not really. I don't know how you got that. Yeah, in this video, we're just going to focus on the armor build. Oh, know what? Actually, I'm going to do the legs, arms and legs too. Since he only got one of each. Yeah, I hope you guys dig the video. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. I've already got my patterns traced out on some 8mm craft foam that I got from TNT Cosplay Supply. I cut this line in an inward angle. And as I made this corner, I went and cut everything straight. And here's a shot of my abdominal area. It looks kind of plain now, but I got my templates all laid out, sliced up, and ready to transfer over to the foam pieces you want to make sure everything is placed in its proper position because well it makes sense to do that right so I've already got my patterns drawn out on all my pieces and I'm going to get everything glued up and let it sit for a little bit because contact cement doesn't work while it's still wet it has to dry to attack before it makes contact it makes jobs a whole lot easier I'm gluing my pectorials together and notice how it's starting to take shape really good and I transferred my patterns over this will help me make sure that all my pieces line up correctly and when I'm gluing my pieces together I always want to make sure that all my pieces are nice and sealed up notice how I got a really clean look there and now it's time to put the rest of the pieces together I like to do one side of the armor first that way I can just stick two big pieces together I'm basically knocking out all the small pieces and then at the end I got two big pieces that I just gotta stick together now I'm gluing on these waist hip thingies I'm not sure what to call them but I'm gonna call them hip waist thingies now after I glued it on it looked kind of cool but it kind of interfered with the walking so I ended up trimming it off just a little bit but I figured I'd show you guys this part anyways and now that I got everything all glued up together I'm going to connect the two big pieces and I'm gonna have this thing that looks like a front armor thingy so far so groovy and everything's starting to look pretty legit and you're probably thinking man this looks really uncomfortable and uh, I'm not gonna lie it is but then it is cosplay bro now I'm gonna glue up the back pieces this is some templates that I normally use for other builds but I'm going to do some modifications to these templates because the trap trap area kind of wraps around the shoulder and it's got buttons on it and it looks like this uh, um, I don't know what you call it looks like paws looks like a turtle now I got the front piece of the armor and back piece of the armor attached together with some velcro and some elastic. I drew on some patterns. These would be my accents. I taped them onto some poster board so I can transfer them over to some 2mm craft foam. And I'm tracing all my pieces onto one sheet. Now when I go in to cut them, I want to cut them in an inward angle. This makes it a whole lot easier than cutting outward angle. But then again, that's entirely up to you but see how cool the bevel edge looks like now this would actually be the front of the accents and uh, this will really make the design look really cool once I glue it onto the armor now I'm taking some barge contact cement and I apply some glue and I'm spreading it with some scrap foam I also did the same thing for the armor I let it sit for a little bit and I'm attaching my foam pieces I like to apply some heat so I can make the uh, two millimeter craft foam a little bit easier to mold I guess and it sticks better too and notice how it is forming really nicely to the chest piece that's what I'm going for awesomeness and now I'm gonna go back and apply some heat to all the pieces to seal the deal I'm adding a button or two on the uh, trap strap area now I'm working on the collar or the neck guard let's call it the neck guard collar I'm cutting this line in an outward angle and then this line right here in a straight angle and then this line right here in an outward angle 
That way when I go to glue it onto the rest of the back piece armor, it'll take its shape really nicely. Now this part right here gets a little tricky. You don't want your pieces to stick together prematurely. You want to put it on there right and uh, yeah, you want to make sure all your pieces attach nicely to each other. And when you're done, you should have something that looks similar to this, which is really cool. Now it's time to add some shoulder fensy pads. They're not really shoulder pads, they're like fins that kind of hang off the side of the top of the shoulder area. Well, I apply some heat and I got some curvatures on them. And then I'm going to glue it underneath the front trap strap area, just like that. And it's gonna just hang over so when I attach the back piece it's just gonna tuck underneath the back piece and it's gonna look something like this which is pretty cool I think I don't know you tell me now it's time to stick on the rib guard fabric thingy I sewed on some velcro and some velcro elastic on the other side and what it's gonna do is gonna wrap around the back and it's gonna attach just to the back. Easy, busy, I guess. Now I'm gonna take my magic sharpie and I'm going to draw on some more lines. Now I'm going to take these lines and burn me in some details when you thought it was just looking pretty cool. It's starting to look way cooler. Now you wanna make sure that you don't burn all the way through, that you just wanna score some details in there. After I got all my lines burnt out, I took the spatula tip off of there and I'm just going to plunge the uh, wood burner right into the foam just like that. This will give me a really cool button effect. Now when you take these tips off of these wood burners, you want to make sure they cool down completely because it wouldn't be so smart to touch it while it's still hot. Just saying. Move it along to the shin guard. I am sketching out all my patterns based off my reference picture. Now he only has one of these shin guards and I don't know why, maybe he just didn't have enough time to put on the other one when he's getting ready to go fight the Hulk, who knows. But it's entirely up to you whether you want to make one or two. I'm going to take my pieces and cut them all up so I can transfer these detailed designs onto my already drawn out big pieces now if you like messing with puzzles then you really like this part of the job but then again it's not really like playing with puzzles I'm gonna cut this line in an Edward angle but the rest of the pieces will be a straight cut and then I'm gonna take my wood burner and burn in all the details uh, probably better to do this before you glue everything together while it's still flat and then I'm gonna glue it to the center piece nice and carefully Notice how I'm making sure all my pieces are nice and clean before I make the complete contact because remember these are angle cuts from underneath and uh, when you glue them together they're gonna look something like this which is some really cool looking shin guards if you ask me. Now it's time to move along to the knee pads. Real easy breezy I guess. You just take these two pieces or three and then glue them all together and uh, you should have a piece that looks like this and then I'm going to glue it onto the shin guard just like that so I applied my contact cement and I drew a line that was about a quarter of an inch up maybe a little bit more I don't know and then I just glued it on there just like that so far so groovy now it's time to add on some straps to make sure this thing doesn't go anywhere when I'm fighting the Hulk in that arena. I'm using my high-tech clamp thingies to clamp down hot glue to Velcro-ish thingies, just like that. And I do this to all my shin guards, so yeah, and it seems to work really well, so why change it up, right? Now I'm working on the shoulder pads. And what's odd is that he only has one shoulder pad. I don't know why and it's also painted a different color from the rest of the armor which I thought looked kind of cool maybe he just kind of threw it all together you know I mean didn't have time to check himself in front of the mirror but yeah once you're done with the shoulder pad she looks something like this let's move along to the rest of the arm I've already got my pieces all cut out and uh, these are pieces for the wristband 
and the upper forearm, I guess, and then the bicep guards. I apply some heat and I put some curvature to them before I go and glue them all together. And according to my reference picture, he only has one bicep guard, but he has gauntlets for both arms. So, yeah, and he only has one shoulder pad too, but I've already mentioned that. Now, I made sure that it was all curved when I glued them together. This will help keep its form. And I'm going to go in there and draw in some line, roughly. Not aiming for perfection, because it's just cosplay, bro. So I drew out all my lines, and this is where I'm going to take my wood burner and burn in all my details. And notice how I have the elastic glued onto there. And I also marked them left and right, because they look kind of the same, but they're not the same they're symmetrical but they're not identical and here I am burning in more detailed lines notice how it's starting to look really cool and then I took the tip off and I'm plunging some button ish looking thingies for additional details yeah you don't want to place your iron on there too long or you're just mess it all up and you don't want to do it once you get to this point and now that everything is starting to look really awesome, time to throw on some paint. I'll cover the painting in another video. I just thought I should show you all some glamour shots of what the product will look like once everything is done. And here is what the shin guard and the other knee pad looks like. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do with the other leg just yet. Here's a shot of the back of how the elastic and the velcros work. And uh, here's a side shot with the straps and hip guard cover, whatever. But I'll cover this in another video. I just wanted to show you guys where I'm at so far. So far it's looking pretty mint, but I'm going to go back and add the red marking on the side and some distress to the armor. I just wanted to show you guys where I'm at so far. So, yeah. Alright guys, I hope you guys learned something, and if you're interested in building a Thor cosplay, the links are in the description down below, if that's really what you're into. You know, I'm just saying. I'm going to work on the cape and the belt in the next video, and uh, all of it's got me really busy right now, so bear with me guys, I'm trying to do the best that I can. I'm a one man production over here, and kind of do everything by myself. Because these guys, they don't really do anything. They just kind of sit around and watch all day. If you guys like what I do here, make sure you guys hit that like button. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram if you want to see more pictures of this bad boy. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already subscribed because I got cool stuff coming. Don't we? Yeah. Anyways, I guess that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.